Welcome. A little bit different setting today, so you're not going to see me in the video, but instead you're going to hear me. And this is podcast for everyone who would like to know a little bit more what yoga therapy is. So yoga therapy is holistic approach and is simultaneously working on the body, on the mind and on the spirit. So there's a various yoga practices systematically strengthen a different system in the body and that includes the heart and cardiovascular system, the lungs, muscles and your nervous system. Yoga practices can improve function of the digestive system, uh, psychological well-being and improve oxygen delivery to tissues. While yoga by itself can elevate a number of problems, it is particularly effective as a complement to other forms of healthcare, both alternative and conventional. Studies suggest, for example, that yoga therapy can lessen the side effects of chemotherapy and radiation treatments for people with cancer and facilitate faster recovery um, bypass surgery after bypass surgery. In clinical trials, many patients uh, with asthma type 2 diabetes or high blood pressure who began a regular practice of yoga were able to either lower the drug dosage or eliminate some pills entirely. So less medication means fever side effect and sometimes very substantial cost savings as well. So you probably have a question, what is the, the difference and differentiating from traditional yoga, from yoga therapy? While yoga therapy shares common elements with traditional yoga, there are key differences that set it apart. Traditional yoga classes are typically group-oriented and focus on the physical aspects of yoga, such as performing various postures, uh, usually adding some breathing exercise, maybe a little bit of guided meditation. And the emphasis is on building strength, building flexibility, gaining flexibility and balance in the body. Now, in contrast, yoga therapy takes a more individualized approach. It recognizes that each person has unique physical and mental attributes and tailors the practice to suit the specific needs. And the therapists work really closely with the client to assess their condition and develop a treatment plan that addresses their specific goals and challenges. Yoga therapy also goes beyond the physical realm. It recognizes the interconnectedness of the mind, body and spirit and aims to promote overall well-being. And by integrating mindfulness and meditation practices, yoga therapy helps individuals develop a deeper awareness of their thoughts, of their emotions and sensations. This mind-body connection is essential for achieving lasting healing and also transformation. I also would like to point two things that in my opinions are probably the most important in one-to-one -one yoga therapy session. So first one is one step at a time. So the key to successful yoga therapy is incremental approach, which tends to be safer and more effective than more aggressive strategies. So it is a best to begin yoga, yoga therapy, as a medicine slowly and then ramp up the intensity or and duration of practice only as the circumstances allow. Um, for some students, particularly those with serious medical problems, therapeutic yoga might begin with only a one posture 
or maybe two posture or even a single breathing exercise until the student is ready for more. And the second thing I would say is one size does not fill all. So there is no two people alike. People have different strengths, different weaknesses, different degrees of overall health and fitness and also different levels of experience with yoga or no experience at all. Even people with uh, exactly the same condition, say for example breast cancer, may vary the disease severity, the, the stage of the treatment and the amount of time they can devote to the yoga practice. Many people have more than one condition and practices I might normally suggest for one problem could be contraindicated for another. Each of these factors will have a major impact on your choice of recommended practices. Now, if you one day you're going to decide uh, and try to go to one to one therapy session, I will uh, tell you briefly what you can expect maybe from yoga therapy. So, when a person decides to initiate yoga therapy, the therapist will first conduct an initial assessment. And this is this assessment is designed to, for example, identify health problem. So what you are struggle with, what is your health condition, and assess lifestyle and physical capability. Discuss reason for seeking therapy, why you even here, and create a course of treatment. So once the treatment plan is established. In this first consultation, the frequency of the sessions is agreed upon the session and scheduled. And from this point, therapy sessions will most likely include a um, couple the same um, components like breathing exercise called prayanama, prayanama. And the therapist will guide the person in therapy through a series of uh, breathing exercises ranging from a little bit more energizing breaths to balancing breaths. Also the sessions will include asanas, physical postures. The therapist will teach the, the person in treatment appropriate yoga poses that address problem areas. So, for example, the legs up the wall pose is used to treat things like anxiety and maybe insomnia. And in, in this pose, the person lays on his or her back with legs positioned up against the wall. So, this is just a simple brief uh, example. Then another component will be meditation, relaxation and mindfulness are the focus of meditation with is combined with yoga poses. The next, the next component might be guided imagery. So the yoga therapist attempts to calm the body and mind by providing a guided visualization intended to bring inner peace. And finally, uh, the quite important component might be homework as well. So quite important element uh, for any yoga practice is to find the way to incorporate in a, into daily life. And yoga therapists provide instruction on how to use what has been learned in treatment at home. So what would be... The, the principles of yoga therapy, especially it's, uh, it's good to remember that it is holistic approach. Um, takes, the yoga therapy takes a holistic approach to healing, recognizing that the mind, the body and the spirit are interconnected rather than focusing solely on treating just physical symptoms, yoga therapy addresses the underlying causes of illness or discomfort. And it acknowledges that imbalance in one area of our being can affect other areas as well. 
And by considering the whole person, yoga therapy aims to restore balance and promote overall well-being. Another very important principle of yoga therapy is individualized treatment. So one of the the key principles of yoga therapy is the recognition that each person is unique and requires an individualized treatment plan. Unlike traditional medicine, which often follows a one-size-fits-all approach, yoga therapy tailors its intervention to meet a specific needs of the individual. So in the initial assessment, a yoga therapist takes into account the person's medical history, physical condition, lifestyle, and personal goals. This comprehensive evaluation helps the therapist gain a deep understanding of the individual's needs and challenges. Also, I would like to point out the conditions treated with yoga therapy. So yoga therapy is a powerful and effective approach to treating various physical and mental health condition. And it offers, again, as I said before, a holistic and individualized treatment plan that integrate, uh, integrates the, the mind and body, allowing for comprehensive healing ex- experience. So it might help uh, with the chronic pain management through the practice of postures of asana so um, yoga therapy helps to increase flexibility strength and balance and these postures are carefully selected and modified based on the individual specific needs and limitations and by gently stretching and strengthening the muscles and joints yoga therapy can help elevate pain and improve function Uh, additionally Pranayama or breathing exercises play a crucial role in chronic pain management. So deep control breathing techniques help to calm the nervous system and reduce stress levels, which can often exacerbate pain. And by incorporating pranayama into the daily routine, individuals with chronic pain can experience relief and improved quality of life. Also, yoga therapy provides a holistic and effective approach to managing and treating conditions like anxiety and depression. The practice of asanas in yoga therapy helps to release tension and promote relaxation in the body. So certain poses such as forward bends and gentle inversions have a calming effect on the nervous system, reducing anxiety and promoting a sense of tranquility. So these physical postures also help to increase blood flow to the brain, providing a natural boost in mood and reducing the symptoms of depression. And lastly, yoga therapy is a valuable tool for individuals who are on the journey of rehabilitation and recovery from different injuries or health conditions. It provides a safe and supportive environment for for individuals to regain that strength, regain that flexibility and overall well-being. And in the realm of rehabilitation, asanas are tailored to the individual specific needs and limitation. Yoga therapy focuses on gentle movements, gentle poses that gradually build strength and flexibility without causing further harm. Through regular practice, individuals can regain mobility, improve balance, and enhance the overall physical function. Pranayama also play a crucial role here in rehabilitation and recovery. Controlled breathing exercises help to oxygenate the body, promote uh, circulation and enhance the body's natural healing process. 
and by incorp- incorporating pranayama into their daily routine, individuals can accelerate the healing process, reduce inflammation, and improve the overall recovery outcomes. outcomes. So I hope thanks to this uh, brief introduction to yoga therapy, maybe you gain a little bit more information of what uh, yoga therapy is. And if you're interested of trying one, I highly, highly recommend to try for yourself at least once. If you have uh, more questions about yoga therapy, uh, please leave me a comment below. Thank you.